same violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get into the video. Mother's son now immortalized on the streets of Brooklyn after he fell victim to gun violence. Well, News 12's Jericho Tran is in. Gun violence. Come on, bro. He fell victim to a super gremlin on demon time. In Carroll Gardens, where his family and friends gathered to honor his name. Hold on, is that Black China? <laughs> and his memory. That's right, Phil. Next month will make nine years since Kenneth Casilla was murdered. However, his memory is alive and well here today. You can see it from all of the friends and family that have showed up here right on the corner of Baltic Street and Third Avenue. And while they're happy to honor him with the street renaming, the pain of his loss still weighs heavily on their hearts. My son's name will live forever. And he will never be forgotten in this community or with me. Um, and shout out to Yvette Ramos. I guess this is a um, burrito gremlin. Uh, but the plastic surgery is OD. It is scary. That's all I'm going to say. Scary. 20-year-old Kenneth Casilla, lovingly remembered as Nunu, was an aspiring rapper from Brooklyn who was killed in Miami. His mother tells us that after he was kidnapped, he sent her one last text. Ten minutes after, he was murdered. Then the killer sent her a picture of his body. I'm lost for words. Why would you send a picture of my son dead? Woo! Them dudes are savages. These are super duper burrito gremlins like well i don't i don't know who took him out but i'm assuming because it's hispanic it was probably burrito gremlins that sound like some like some narcos type stuff day clutching his picture and speaking through tears I did it, no. ah! his mother proud to finally see her son's name displayed in his hometown so the young man gets killed and then we give him a street and it's all good. That street is probably going to catch a lot of bodies. But RIP Kenneth Casilla. Town. <laughs> Friends and family filled the corner holding balloons, remembering the impact he had on his community. His energy was crazy. And some of his many talents. Kenneth was special in every way, but he was a special basketball player. Today, not only celebrated with tears and hugs, but also with forgiveness. I forgive you for, for killing my son. No, not with the forgiveness. Come on, Ma Dukes, you can't do it. You can't. But I don't forget what you did to my son. But I forgive you for murdering my son. And if you have children, I would never want you to feel my pain as a mother. Now the people responsible for Kenneth's death are still on the loose, but Kenneth's mother says she will not stop until she receives justice for her son in Carroll Garden. Well, um, the street code no snitch policy will make sure that you won't see justice until, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe they commit another crime, get arrested on something else. Jericho Tran, News 12. Star high school basketball player and a young promising rapper about to make it big. Brooklyn native Kenneth Castillo had his whole exciting life ahead of him and then like a candle being blown out in the wind, he was gone. His life taken by a jealous gunman, according to police. 
My son didn't deserve to get killed. It's been almost eight years now since Casilla was shot and killed while sitting in a car during a trip to Miami. The man who killed him has also died since. It's a terrible... Dang. So, they come and go. They come and go. It's crazy that, that karma came back to bite them. <laughs> I mean... You, you, you in that life, man. That's what's going to happen, bro. Terrible situation that might leave some parents asking, what was the point for any of this? For Casilla's mother, Yvette Ramos, she's hoping her son will be remembered, not by his death, but by the life he lived during his short time here with everyone. He took care of his friends. If you needed a place to live, my son would bring you. You were hungry, he would feed you. He gave to the community turkeys. He would give clothes. You needed something. That was Kenneth. And if you knew Kenneth, you know what I'm talking about. In honor of Casilla, his mother Yvette has worked hard every day to get his name up somewhere in his hometown of Brooklyn. No, no, I did it. You can now find Kenneth Casilla Way at the corner of 3rd Avenue and Baltic Street. I did it! I did it! He made a difference in people's lives around him and that he will continue to inspire uh, young people um, for many years to come and they'll know his name. So this is a project years in the making for Kenneth Casilla's mother, Yvette. She says seeing his name up here on this corner will make living without him just a little bit easier. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a uh, pretty rough area so I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness so make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like the video hell share the video and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. All right, guys, so um, <clears throat> we saw what happened to um, Kenneth Casilla. You know, it's, it's very unfortunate. But we all know that Kodak Black was shot recently as well. And I kind of want to give you the the outlook that a lot of these dudes have on getting shot shooting somebody it's 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 really wild because this is the head honcho super gremlin himself who coined the term and i plan on taking it places where it never has been right but <clears throat> When it comes to Kodak, he's really kind of brushing getting shot off. And we see how unlucky Kenneth Casilla was, and he was killed in Miami, where Kodak is from. So it's a big deal, but he's brushing it off. Um, but I don't think he really understands how fortunate he is to still be alive that he i mean he could have been dead but this is his mindset on it quarterbacks get sacked too you hear me nigga, sure. nigga, nigga, yeah. nigga man listen bro you know pop you know it's not playing it's shit puts over that nigga, nigga, nigga. all right whatever nigga take they lick no 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 nobody want no 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 nobody want no, 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 that no, shit no, nah okay so <clears throat> translation he said we don't know anybody we don't know who did it so street code is in full effect he's not telling they're not telling they're counting up money trying to flex you know brush it off like it ain't nothing this is the um the false bravado the false sense of masculinity that a lot of these dudes get from street activity okay this is the reality of the situation and it's it, 
it's really sad to watch because these are some of these guys are like these guys in the in the community they're the ones who are getting the most money you know as far as rappers athletes entertainers all this kind of stuff they're getting the most money in the community <clears throat> but they're they're flaunting it they're throwing it around they're wasting it you know this is why we're not going to have anything in generations to come this is why our net worth as a whole is projected to be zero <laughs> in 2040 it's crazy you hear me but at the end of the day they ain't hiding this shit that's what it is <laughs> screenshot it be happy about it whatever who are you Celebrate this motherfucker, you hear me? About time. This motherfucker, man. <laughs> About time, you hear me? About time. You know, and, and just doing stories on this and understanding how these people's family members react to their kids actually not making it, like them actually getting shot and not living to tell the tale it's 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 a slap in the face to all the victims of these super gremlins on demon time fuck nigga oh, they, ain't on that shit. Time, we ain't say bro, no more that was wild he shit. wanted you to sit down and sit, bro. I ain't on some shit like that shit. Shit. okay but whatever you, what you, you hear me screen record this shit oh whatever what Man, fuck, ain't hiding shit. What it is? Hey, that what it is. I even notice in the comments section, man. The 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 devils, the gremlins on the screen. Look, pay attention now. Hey. They what it is. I'm gonna stood up and shoot. They hit a hundred ducks every day, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Man, I'm gonna stood up and multiple and shoot out. Man, ain't never get scratched. Man, I just got a little scratch, you hear me? If they say it really got the same legs, it's a sign. They both got nothing. Yeah, I'm a twin, bitch. These bitches. G